Nessler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Oregon Ducks. Happy New Year, everybody. As usual, the 1st of January brings a lot of hard-hitting action. And here come the Ducks. Fans on both sides think their team is going to win this thing. What's your prediction, Kirk? Oregon comes into this game needing some big plays on defense, and they have a player who can do that. His presence alone gives quarterbacks happy feet, and I think he'll help force a turnover or two and a close win. This will be a struggle, but I'm taking them too. Go Ducks! Quack, quack, quack! Well, the captains are heading to midfield, so let's head down to the coin toss. Gets a pitch, bounces off a would-be tackler. Defense says they've got it, and they do. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Uh, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball. Oregon comes out of the shotgun, sheds a tackler. Number eight lets it fly. The ball is tipped, and it's picked off. He threw that thing into heavy cover. Yeah, he did. The quarterback was gambling on that pass. However, he lost. up front and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Rolls right, looking. Here comes the pressure. Nelson comes up with a sack. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Signals for a fair catch. He dropped it. You just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. Hands it off. Touchdown, Ducks. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. Bradford drops the throw. Can't wrap him up. Looks. He's taken off. Hasinger with the tackle at the 19-yard line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Still oh, give this one an Blunt gets the call again. He's taken down at the 30. Number eight delivers. Complete. Nelson with a takedown at the 49. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really three wide. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. He passes it. And he pulls it down. And down he goes at the 41. So they go to the air and they pick up. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. We're through one quarter. And the score is Oregon, seven. Oklahoma, nothing. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Rolls to the right. Going long. Carter tackles him at the 25-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah. He rolls out to the right. He's looking. Number eight zips it right. Great concentration. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure. He'll go with the run once again. There's a missed tackle. Touchdown, Oregon! Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's gone up. He can make his own play as he goes along. Nice run. They get it out there on the top. Juke move. Tackle at the 27-yard line. And a back eye formation. And he's tackled at the 43. Bradford drops the throw. Looks. He throws. He's got it to the senior. Brought down. And 
On play action. He flings it over the middle. Got him again. He's tackled. The Sooners go with the eye formation. Rolling out to the right side. And he brings it down. How about the height formation? Bradford with a nice play fake. Going to the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. receiver drops back to pass waits till the last moment knocked out of bounds at the 27 yard line you got a lot of jersey on that play not too much argument about this call good call yeah he practically brought him to the ground there Looks to pass. He fires this one. Into coverage, and the defense has it. Number 85. Looks like he might have been injured on the play. Back to pass. He lets it go. And this one's going to get intercepted. He sheds it. That's his first pick of the season there, Coach. Oh, he picked a good time to get an interception. This is a close game, and that turnover can be the difference maker later in the game. We played a half of football here, and our score is Oregon 14, Oklahoma 7. Showing three wide. Two football. McCoy sweeps up the loose ball. Level. What a hit. And the defense got on it quickly. That was a heck of a play by the big guy. Sure was, Kirk. Bradford dropped back to pass. And he's going to be sacked. So he's sacked by the fifth-year senior at defensive end. Not an easy thing to have to block this guy for four quarters. Yeah, quite honestly, I don't know if it can be done. He rolls out to the right. Looks, throws, oh boy, almost intercepted. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it. Bradford, back to pass. He lets it fly. He jukes it. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what. Bradford has completed every pass this drive. He's looking for his man, and down he goes at the 34. And they're building some great momentum on this man in the backfield. Bradford hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. He can't miss. Great concentration. Good yardage that time on the pass. Bradford back to pass. He rifles it. Intercepted. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. Looks to pass. Slips it short. Incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out. Bradford, back to pass. And they get the sack. Kirk, how many sacks do they have now? That gives them five for the game. This offensive line has got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. Three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. Oregon, 14. Oklahoma, 7. Bradford set to go to the air. Looks. It's tipped. That close to being intercepted. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. Way to look it in. That's how you... He's looking to pass. He throws right. Got his man on the run. A heck of a... He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's rolling left. He's going left. Complete. He got hit hard. There. He drops back. Rolls to the right. Looks. There he goes. 
And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Quarterback score. Guys, he took a chance, and it worked. Well, the play wasn't going anywhere, so he made up his mind and screwed it in. Bradford back to throw. He zips it out to the right. Picked off. He's got some blockers. Touchdown, Oregon. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. Kirk, he made it look easy. You can tell this kid has seen the end zone before. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. In the gun. Bradford back to throw. He throws it. Finds his receiver. He breaks it. He's taken down at the 36. Great arm strength. Stepping up. Let's it go. His receiver has it. And he's tackled in the open field. Oklahoma comes out of the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He's hit and got away. He lets it fly. Found his man. He's all the way down to the 11. Possession game, but we've seen bigger comebacks than this. Yeah, remember when Miami came back from 23 down in the third quarter to beat the Gators? Yeah, was that 2003? Sure was. He rolls out to the right. Throwing right. It's intercepted. And he's taken down at the 45. You talk about a weapon. This defender has been all over the field today. Well, he's given this quarterback fits right now. That's his second interception of the day. Bradford hands it off. No, play fake. And it's caught. Well, the tight end. Oklahoma comes to the line with three wide. Looking. He throws. Complete. Jackson with a takedown at the 14. With that pass, they pick up another first down. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. And there's sack number six on the day. Cook, who's at fault here? The O-line for not blocking well or the quarterback for not getting rid of the football? I'd say you could blame both the offensive line and the quarterback, but don't forget about the receivers. They're not helping matters. They're not getting open. So you're seeing a lot of coverage sacks as well. Bradford, back to pass. Across the middle. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. You're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. On the ground with the tailback. At the 30, at the 40, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Untouched. That was a huge run. You talk about some good blocking. Yo, all the running back had to do was turn on the jet. It wasn't a defender that was even able to get a hand on him. That is a big momentum booster, Coach, for this offense. What a great, great run. I know the defensive coordinator is kicking and howling right now on the sideline. And it's picked off. The offensive coordinator is just livid right now, Coach. <laughs> I wonder why. His offense is going four interceptions today. And, Coach, it's not just the quarterback. The receivers haven't run good routes. The offensive line hasn't contained the pressure. Really, the whole... There's the final gun, and this game is history. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Oklahoma had a few missed opportunities in this game. I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Oregon 35, Oklahoma 14. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. I'd like to thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time.